Hello everyone, today we are going to make a translucent status bar using Jetpack Compose. So let's go into the main activity and above the onCreate method, write enable edge to edge. And now let's see that if we let only the enable edge to edge, it wouldn't work and we will have the default status bar. The next thing we need to do is to go into the team.kt and remove the this part okay now let's go back to the main activity and say status bar style state uh, system bar style dark and pass the android dot graphics color with capital transparent now let's run the app and see if now it's okay as you can see, it works perfectly, but if you have a brighter image and you want these icons to be dark, you have to say system bar style, replace this with light, and pass two color transparent. One is for the status bar, one is for the navigation bar. Okay, so let me change the image to the light image and rerun the application. Now the icons are dark, and if you want, for example, to have multiple screens but uh, on one screen you need the darker icons or on one screen you need a different status bar color let's make a simple function let's go back to the team.kt and take this and create for example set status bar color and pass a color to it and now paste this and let's say launched effect to be called one time not too many times because for example as I said if you want to have it on one screen a color then on another, another screen other color it should be called once not as many times as the screen recomposes the key is true now pass color dot to ARGB and delete this and now let's also suppress the annota uh, this with an annotation now let's go here and let's say set status bar color and pass color red and also remove these and let's run the app yes it worked if you like this video, make sure to follow me for more content like this. And I also have a blog on which I'm posting. So make sure to follow on that too. So see you next time.